Hello everyone. So this is your first chapter and your first chapter, the name of your first chapter is Maps and Diagrams. Okay. So in this chapter, the first thing you have to understand that is a globe. Okay. So what is a globe? So basically a globe is an object. Okay. It is an object which represents the spherical shape of the earth. So it represents the shape of the earth and it is an object. And if you see on that globe, it uh, that the map of the world is printed on it. Okay. And it is a three dimensional model or 3D model. Okay. So it is a three dimensional model or a 3D model. Okay. So what is what are the advantages of uh, the globe? So it gives the most accurate shape of the earth if you uh, study the globe so it gives the most accurate shape of the earth and it gives three dimensional view of the earth and it gives a realistic view of all the continents and water bodies and it is very easy to see and understand the imaginary lines like latitudes and longitudes okay so in this uh, globe you can clearly understand this uh, imaginary lines and what are the disadvantages or you can say limitations so as it is very bulky so it is very difficult to carry around or only a part of the earth can be seen at a glance okay as like here you can see only at a part okay not the whole part okay a globe cannot be made for small area of the earth and if you see that you if you want to study the small area of the earth it's not possible and geographical details like landforms locations these are also not uh, you are not getting that small details you are not getting on the globe okay the second thing is that map so what is map so as here you can see this is a picture of a map so map is basically a drawing of the whole earth okay or a part of its surface okay so it may be the uh, map it, it is possible that if you will draw a map of India then it's a part of the world or you can draw a world map also okay so it's a drawing uh, uh, drawing representation you can say drawing graphical representation okay and what are the advantages of the map like maps provides more information than a globe okay it gives detailed information maps can be easily carried out from one place to another place which is not possible for the globe and maps can occupy less space and can be preserved easily and maps gives accurate information even for the small areas also if you are studying that small areas map so you get that detailed information and map uh, there are many types of maps which are providing many types of information that we will discuss in details afterwards and that different signs and that by colors and symbols we can understand a huge variety of information in maps okay so there are four types of basically there are four types of maps okay so the first one is physical map so what is physical map if in any map here you can see as you here you can see if in any map if it represents valleys plains river mountains so it is called physical map okay now next one is what is political map if in any map as here you can see if it represents countries states capital cities names or important towns then it's a political map okay and what is thematic map thematic map means uh if it based on that any theme okay like if it shows that uh, the distribution of crops, minerals, schools, populations or anything. The distribution of any uh, diseases also. Okay. If you show the uh, distribution of COVID-19 uh, in uh, various states. So it is also a thematic map. The next one is topographical map. What is topographical map? If if any map as here you can see if describe the detailed information about the water bodies or the landforms or the railway tracks or the occupations or the settlements means it shows the detailed information about an area that is called topographical map okay for detailed information we are using topographical map okay now the next one is that these are the essential features what are the essential features uh, a map should contains okay so there are five essential features that uh, we can see that the title directions scale conventional uh, symbols and uh, colors key or legends okay so a map should have this five essential features okay like a map should have a title like here as here you can see this is a world map of in world map sorry 
world map okay so there should be a title okay now next one is directions like there are many types of directions like the top one is called north the bottom one is called the opposite one is called south and that if you see your uh, uh, right side then it's east and if your left side then it's west okay and again we can uh, subdivide it into eight intermediate directions okay so in between north e north and east this is northeast in between south and east it's southeast in between south and west it is southwest and in between north and west it is northwest okay and again we further divide it into 16 intermediate directions okay like north north northeast northeast then east north east 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 south east southeast south southeast south southwest southwest okay and uh, west southwest west west northwest northwest north northwest north okay so these are the directions okay now the scale of a map so uh, as you can see that there are three types of scale okay ratio scale graphic scale and verbal scale in verbal scale it verbalize each and everything like one inch equals one miles means one inch represent one mile in a map okay and graphical scale it doesn't uh, verbalize all the things you have to understand like okay, here you can see that in this one inch okay or within one centimeter it represent one mile okay so it, it is not uh, in verbal scale everything is verbalized but in graphical scale you have to understand that okay from zero to one means one okay one mile as here you can see one mile is represents okay so in this way you have to understand and the ratio is, is equal to 1 is to 62500 so where you have to figure out the ratio okay now next one is small scale map and large scale map okay so uh, uh, hopefully you can understand that on the basis of that here we have divided the four uh, into four parts on the basis of purpose on the basis of its purpose okay and on the basis of its size we can divide it into two more parts okay small scale map and large scale map okay so what is small scale map if the information in that map is very small or limited then we can say it is a small scale map and if it is a, the information is large okay like here in this map of india there is a, a small city you can see that is Naxa okay so here the information is very small so it is a small scale map and what is large scale map large scale map means where you can get the detailed information about these cities like where the water bodies are there where the banks are there uh, what is the uh, settlement type okay and if you uh, if you understand each and everything about that city like here the park is there so each and everything you can get, uh, get to know okay so the details is uh, on the basis of large scale or large informations are provided here so it is called large scale map okay and there are uh, basic uh, conventional signs we have to remember okay like for this pink pink uh, dot 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 boundary uh, this is called international boundary and that's blue one straight boundary and that dot 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 um, sky blue one district boundary okay so you have to remember this boundaries uh, signs of these boundaries roads water systems railways bridge vegetations monuments settlements and other services you have to remember this signs okay now colors on the map like uh, if you see the different different colors different things okay like that green uh, represent the color green represent the vegetations okay similarly the color white represents the snow or oh, here the snow field okay or the color um, uh, you can say that color uh, brown represent that plateaus okay so in this way different different colors represent different different things clear now sketch and plan is uh, okay and uh, the next one is sketch okay so what is a sketch if you see that uh, as like you are also making rough drawing okay so a sketch is also a rough drawing 
we showing that the relative locations of a few chosen features okay so it's a just a rough drawing okay like suppose if this is your school okay and this is your house so how you will go to your from school you uh, how you will go to your house so here this is the uh, rough drawing you can say in that rough drawing you are just expressing that how you are going to your house okay so this is called sketch clear and plan what is plan while here suppose this is your school plan okay so in this plan it is mentioned each and everything like in um here you can see number one so number one is the school entrance number two or number three in this way you can get to know about each and everything okay each and everything is mentioned in a detailed manner okay so what is a plan plan is a drawing that shows the horizontal sections okay of a small area or a building like this is a plan of your school so it shows the um uh, you can say it shows the uh, detail information not detail information it shows the plan of a school okay so uh, here uh what is the difference in between uh area uh sorry map sketch and plan okay so in terms of area if you see that map covers a large area and for sketch it's uh means because of the rough drawing so it's uh covers very small or large area and for uh, plan uh, plan it covers only small area okay and uh, scale if you see obviously it is a small scale because here the information is very small okay and just because it is a uh, rough drawing so the uh, sketch is a rough drawing that is not drawn to scale okay and for uh, plan obviously it is a large scale because here all the information is like principal office school entrance you are getting each and every information detail information okay details if you see in the uh, in case of map it cannot show too many or very many details like in map of india you just get to know about the different cities name okay or the different states name and uh, for the sketch it shows only the required details like from your school uh, to your house whatever the path is required so it shows the de that details only that required details okay and for plan it shows the details with accurate measurements like whatever the measurement is there like if your uh, principal house or principal office is too big then it shows big and if it is small then small each and every details it shows that accurate with that accurate measurement it shows that all the details okay okay that's it okay thank you